welcome to a daily Geostens challenge where today we start off way different than we have ever started off before. <laughs> Here's why. We came for a cash that we know has an issue with it. Here's the issue. A previous cacher took one of the little small bison tubes, the golden ones, unscrewed it from the cap, and then while trying to get the log out of the cap, dropped the bottom in the tall grass. Now, we're pretty good at finding stuff. <laughs> um, a cacher after him came, said, yeah, you know, the container's damaged. Um, so, but the log was in a cap. And then another container or another cacher came and said, there's nothing here. It's half the container's missing and the log's missing. Searching around down here in the grass and in the growth under the tree, I came across the log, but we cannot find the bottom of the golden bison tube for the container. So, going through my geo bag, I remembered once I seen it that I had a camouflaged pouch that I made. Just basically, you take a Ziploc bag, I, it's a, you know, the, the small ones for pills, you put tape around it, and I had that with me, and I used it. So, we signed a fresh log. I put the old log in that I found, and I temporarily fix the cash. And I'm going to tell the owner, it's temporarily fixed. Here's what we did. When you come here off the side trail from the IRT, you're going to find a bird. Mm -hmm. This bird <laughs> had one of the little golden bison tubes on it, as you can see from the lid. What I did was, is I took the wire, I pulled some of the duct tape back, the camo tape, I poked the wire through, pushed the tape back on, and then hooked the wire so the bag will stay. Now, I say it's a temporary fix, because I don't know how long this bag's gonna last, and how long it's gonna stay closed, because even when they're in, say, a pill bottle or a bison tube, they don't last long. But the bottom is right here, it's sealed back up, two logs inside, temporarily fixed until the cash owner can get back out here and do his repairs. So that's something that I normally don't show. I normally don't show having to repair somebody's geocache. It's just that I had some of the supplies to do it, so we did it. At no point is this a replacement, a throwdown, or anything. This is an actual temporary replacement because it's been, it's been about a week or so and the cash owner still hasn't made it out yet. So now I just bought them a little bit more time and they don't have to disable the cash because there's something here to sign. Now that we did our good deed for today, <laughs> let's get back to geocaching. We tried to fix it with the original container and we DNF'd it. But we still get the smiley because we fixed it. And now we go get a cash for your challenge. Next Out of DNF the six thing. left, we better find we one. <laughs> Let's go cashing. <laughs> for today, we have a fake rock. One that I haven't seen before. No, that's a different color one. I haven't seen this design. This is a the little. Clay? This is a little bit more square and, and like a clay brown color, yeah. Tank. But, it's your fake rock. This is a other, for difficulty, two terrain. And we're here at ground zero. All right, folks. We walked in the trail from the cache that we fixed. And we made our way to location number one. You come up here. You have a little bit of an incline. Come up to this tree root here. And you see the fake rock 
hiding right there underneath it. Is location number one the correct geocache location? Location number two, you come in past Keith down the trail from where the geocache was that we fixed. <laughs> you walk over here, you see a tree with a hole. You walk over and there you find your fake rock inside the hole of the tree with a bumblebee. Could location number two be the original geocache location? You come down from the trail, from the cache that we fixed. You're now at cache location number three. Right here off the side of the trail, you have a tree that's down. Is the fake rock right there in location number three? Is that the original cache location? We have location number one, past Keith, up the hill, roots of the tree. We have location number two, behind me, hole in tree, and three, right down here off the trail, and a down tree, and the hole there. Where do you think the fake rock is? Leave a comment down below. Visit YouGotAFriendInPA.com for all your GeoSense challenge needs and to see all the information for the monthly giveaway. And now, once again, you like to get rid of them? Three. Yep. Three is a little too easy. One's harder to see from the trail. And so is two if you come from one direction. But if it's back far enough, it might be hard to see from the other direction too. So now, how are you doing with your cash in goal that you had planned? I'm on 300 away from 3,000. For the year. Or no, for, for total, total. Total. I'm almost at 1,300 for the year. Wow. So you're about 200 away from your new goal. I'll have that done by. Because your original year. goal was 1,000. Yeah. Now you upped it to 15. And then now you're also trying to go for 3,000 uh, by the end. I'll buy 3,000 by November. I'll have it done. Wow. Sweet. He's slowly catching up to me. Actually, no. He's rapidly catching up to me. <laughs> I mean, 1,300 just this year alone so far. That's a lot of geocaches <laughs> in one year. Leave a comment down below on how many geocaches you have done at your max in one year. I know mine's in the hundreds. Mine's not in the thousands. I know that for sure. Right, now he's going to get the actual numbers. <laughs> 1220 right now for the year. So yeah, 1220 for the year. No, that's not including that. Today's didn't get updated yet. Right. So. Today's not updated. That's not bad. 1240. 1220 almost. so far. About three months. And we're only in September 13th. <laughs> September 13th. He's at 1220. For the year, his goal was a thousand, so he's over. He's already two hundred and twenty over that. And then I think the last time we were out, we talked about it. So now we raised it to fifteen to see if he could get there. He's getting there. Way better than I did. I think I'm probably like around, I think seven sixty-seven. I seen for one year. That's probably my highest. And now with filming, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to get that high now. Heck no. Filming slows me down. Instead of 20 in a day, I'm down to, I think the most I'm doing is 12 in a day. All right. We got two, and we got one. Or one, and we got two. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I was almost going to re, I was almost going to resurrect number three, but <laughs> no, that one's out. All right, Keith. Put this back where you found it. I didn't. Number one. I looked at number two. Too bad Luke wasn't here. There's another one of those. Oops, there it is. Yep. Hey, Luke. <laughs> what did I tell you? He walks right up over there and goes, hey, here it is. <laughs> Previous DNF. And I go, well, my GPS wants me down here. Yeah, Luke. Like I said, was saying, or, well, I was saying before interrupted. Now I'm going to get my whole point out. This is one of those again. He walks right up to number one. <laughs> here it is. No search. No troubles, no nothing, and I'm continuing to walk because my GPS wanted me down the trail this way more. So, he does walk right up and find him. <laughs> a lot. Well, folks, we brought you a repair 
and we brought you three locations for this episode. Now it's time to wrap up this episode and move on with our day because ten more to do yet. we got a, a lot more to do. Well, you probably have 10 yeah, more to do. Yeah, you're right number 11. So I, I, got so, I got some of them already. Yeah, because he has to go all the way down to number one of the series. I only need to go to number six. So I got five more. Yeah. Now, are we at 11? Yeah, this is number 11. Oh, because that one wasn't part of the... Yeah, that okay. Was, exactly. So actually that, we did 18. That was an additional so to the trail. It was like 18. Okay. We started. Well, folks, we're going to wrap this up and stop talking so much. Happy trails, happy cashing, and go get a smiley.